I'm Mary Reedmeyer from the Material Science and Engineering Department at Missouri S&T, and I'm sitting in the hot glass shop where students come to really explore and learn about glass. Our ability to work this glass is based on science and technology. I can talk to them in class about viscosity, but here they can actually come and experience it, and experience it on a scale that they can appreciate what it means. And typically in one of our technical labs, they might be allowed to work with 50 to 100 grams of material. But here in the glass shop, we have 200 pounds of molten glass at any time. And once they take up a gather of hot glass onto a punny or a blowpipe, now they really understand viscosity. Because now they're dealing with a quantity of glass that's like hot honey. The main furnace uh, runs at about 1100 degrees C and there's 200 pounds of molten glass in there at any time. When we pull the glass out of there, it's in what we would call a, a working range where we can easily shape it by uh, using metal tools or wood tools on it. We can stretch it, pull it, cut it. Uh, eventually though, after uh, a minute or so, the glass begins to cool down and we have another piece of equipment called a glory hole, which is basically a reheat furnace that's uh, run off of propane. And the object is reheated in order to keep it in this working range, which basically has to do with viscosity. Typically, uh, glass floors work in teams or groups because the process now requires someone who's the main gaffer, who's basically creating the, the shape or object, has to be supported by those that bring them other hot bits of glass. You'll see uh, where there are, another person's applying a, a, a paddle uh, or assisting in blowing. It becomes a much more complex process as we go to a hollow object in a much larger piece. Our ability to work this glass is based on science and technology. Our understanding of the material, I think for the students, is greatly expanded. I can, I can talk to them in class about viscosity, but here they can actually come and experience it, and experience it on a scale that they can appreciate what it means. So I think this is an expansion of their technical knowledge along with finding the creative side.